So Imad, uh, why do you flip the classroom? Look, I've been teaching mathematics for 16 years and uh, it's only over the last five years I had some sort of a component of flipping the classroom because uh, I've noticed my maths results have always been sitting around the 29 mark as an average um, study score. So uh, I had to look into why this was happening. So uh, I started to record my videos, my lessons, and uh, I don't totally flip in the traditional method of flipping the classroom, so I did, I did a combination. So I felt that what I needed to do was to keep doing what I was doing, because I'm a teacher from the old school and I, f I find it hard to teach maths any other way. So uh, what I did was I started to record my lessons and have them available for the kids to um, view at a later stage and found that was working well. They liked that, so I started to create my own video resources on how to answer questions and uh, set up a WordPress blog where I uh, automatically uh, just upload the, the videos for, for them to access. And uh, what happens then is that uh, the kids have access to that 24-7. Uh, it's, uh, it's away from the school, it's uh, out in the World Wide Web and uh, it automatic, automatically tweets every time I uh, update the, the videos and the kids get it instantaneously. And I've been doing this for the last couple of years and my results have increased. Uh, Last year it hit 32 as an average, which I thought is above the state average, which is fantastic. So at the moment, I won't say that flipping the classroom is the answer, but I had a combination. So I didn't change what I was doing in the classroom. Uh, I don't expect my kids to watch the video first, then come into the classroom because I still teach it how I used to teach it. However, it's an extra resource, an extra tool that I can use and have available for them. So I'm doing a combination. That's great. <laughs>